G'day guys and gal. After over six months of being locked down in my house and barely seeing anyone, I finally got to escape to the country and get away from it all for a couple days with my best mates. How did I get out of a lockdown city I hear nobody ask? Well, apparently being a YouTuber qualifies me as an important worker which allows me instant and easy access through military checkpoints. With this newfound freedom, I've gained a lot of perspective. Hence, what better time than now to weigh in on the female space marine debate? I recently saw a Twitter thread about a girl who was getting into the Warhammer hobby and thought space marines were cool. Fair enough, they are pretty cool. Hence wanted to make female space marines. Well, a dude didn't like that very much and they had a bit of an ugly spat. Now, I know a lot of my videos are full of jokes and mostly satire, but sometimes I like to challenge myself to tackle more interesting topics while still making at least one person with severe bladder issues piss themselves. Today we'll be discussing the debate over female space marines. Should they exist in law or should they be forever barred from receiving some of that fat gene seed? I'll try to be objective for most of this video. I'll be playing devil's advocate and offering up good points for both sides of the argument before finally giving my own opinion on the matter and if we should even give a shit in the first place. Let's get into it. I'm not a Warhammer hobby elitist. By that, I mean that I don't think there should be one specific way that people should engage in the hobby. I don't think it should be gatekept, and if someone is in it purely for stuff like memes or text-to-speech, then all power to them. Obviously, if they're going to try and launch a crusade and turn Warhammer into some fairy fiesta, then that's not going to fly. But for the most part, as long as they aren't shoving their interpretation of Warhammer down my throat, then who cares? After all, I am the number one peddler of Warhammer hentai in the world. To prove that, if this video gets 50,000 views and 5,000 likes, I'll get a hentai piece of a female space marine maid and chuck it up on my Patreon to give everyone triggered bonus. The point I'm trying to make is that if someone makes female space marine art or 3D prints some female heads for their space marines, then cool, it doesn't affect me or anyone else. Who cares? But that isn't the debate here. The debate is if they should be a part of official canon. First, let's look why that could be law friendly. Could it make sense to start using females as a starty candidates? After all, we have girls in the military and other sci-fi super soldiers use females, such as the Spartans from Halo. No one complains about them, and Halo is less far-fetched than Warhammer 40k. The female Spartans also perform just as well as their male counterparts. When discussing sci-fi fantasy, making real-life comparisons on how things are supposed to work is not how you go about things. That would be like saying, females are bigger and stronger than men because girl spiders are bigger and murder the males after fucking them. It's just not a comparison that you can lean on. This is where a lot of the arguments for female space marines end. Here's one. The single biggest reason why there are no female space marines is that because if you take a female and turn them into an Astartes, they will pretty much just become a male anyway. Astartes get injected with the equivalent of 10 Arnold's worth of space steroids and testosterone. Their voices would deepen, they would shave their heads for practical reasons, their tits would turn into pecs, and their vaginas wouldn't work. People think female space marines would look like this, but in reality, they would look like this. Space marines are very masculine, that is a fact. An argument for female space marines is so girl players of the hobby can have characters to look up to and admire that they can relate to, but an extremely butch chick with bigger muscles than me and also a deeper voice isn't the character that will do that for them. Another point is that even if the female space marines are physically identical to male space marines, the way female brain works is completely different. Girls are more emotional and complex. It could mess with the strict psychological indoctrination that an Astartes has to go through. Female space marines would likely need more work to break down their high levels of compassion and other emotions that might stop them from pulling the trigger on some filthy Xenos. This brings me to my next argument against female space marines. They're already badass girls in power armor that use bolter guns. The sisters of battle. Unlike space marines, these nuns with guns were designed with feminine aspects in mind, without the usual sexualization that a lot of other franchises put female heroes through. 
Why is it that there are so many people calling for female space marines, but absolutely nobody is calling for male sisters of battle? Sure, space marines are more front and center than sisters of battle, and they do get a lot more love, but that is because they sell better, as most of the people in the Warhammer hobby are males. Just look at my analytics. If the girls in the hobby rallied behind the Sisters of Battle and started buying them more, then guess what? You would get more Sisters of Battle stories with better writing and better models. Everything in Warhammer has a male and female counterpart. Custodians have the Sisters of Silence. All the Elder have both genders fulfilling all the roles bar maybe something like a Howling Banshee. Same goes for the Tau, with one of their greatest commanders, Shadow Sun, being a female. The Tyranids don't even have genders which is like an SJW's wet dream and the Necrons are in a similar boat to them. As such, I will say with confidence that Warhammer is not a sexist setting. There are plenty of strong female characters who are able to maintain their feminine identity. You could even make the argument that by making female space marines and lifting them up as the strong female characters to look up to, you are being sexist, as they would be more male than female. It would be like when the Australian government made Tony Abbott the Minister for Women, despite him being a backward sexist dickhead. So now that I have laid out the main arguments for both sides, what is my straightforward and honest opinion on the debate? Is there room for female space marines in Warhammer canon, or do people just need to shut the fuck up about it and move on with their lives? The issue isn't female space marines, the issue is female representation in Warhammer, and that issue is manifesting via the poster boys of Warhammer. Space marines are the heart and soul of Games Workshop, and they are all exclusively male. This debate would not exist if the Sisters of Battle and Space Marines were equally front and center. So should we make Sisters of Battle front and center? Honestly, no. I'm personally against catering to the minority over the majority. That's not to say I believe that Sisters of Battle or Silence should get neglected, but the reality is that over 90% if not higher of Warhammer hobbyists are male. Hence it makes sense that 90% of Warhammer's content should cater towards them. It's just basic business sense. On top of that, I don't think that male things should be converted to female just cause. This is why Ocean's 8 and Chick Ghostbusters were shit. There's no valid in-law reason for female space marines to suddenly exist. There are more than enough males out there to supplement the numbers, and the resources and new knowledge required to make the process work for females is an expense that the Imperium can't currently afford. It took Cole, the greatest scientist in the galaxy, 10,000 years and unlimited resources to make a small improvement over the space marines. How long do you think it would take to make the process compatible with an entirely different gender? If we really want to get deep about it, a space marine isn't someone you want to be or look up to. They are brainwashed until they barely remember the shape of their mother's face. The physical process is just as agonizing as they tear you apart and put you back together, full of new organs that your body will probably reject, causing you to painfully die. If they do accept it, then you will wish you died, as you will then put through these agonizing trials. Your new brothers die like flies around you. Then if you somehow make it that far, you are deployed against the greatest monsters and nightmares in the galaxy until the day you violently die. And yes, it will be a painful death. One shotting a space ring is very rare due to how tough they are, so your death will be drawn out. Likely torn limb from limb by Tyranids, or a demon, or a Tau Gundam. However, all of this pales to the terrifying fact that you won't even be able to fuck. Space Marines should not be looked up to as people you want to be like. I don't want to be a fucking Space Marine. I like having parents and I like having sex. You know what I dislike? Being torn limb from limb with a limp dick. You know who can have sex? Sisters of Battle. I'd be a sister of battle over a Space Marine in a heartbeat. Chapter Master Valrak would agree with me on this one. I know some people will think I'm a sexist pig or whatever for saying this. But, you know, that sounds like a them problem and not a me problem. Ladies, you got badass sisters of battle, insane sisters of silence, scary howling banshees and living saints. If anything, guys should be jealous of you and the female exclusive units and characters you guys get. You don't need fucking space marines. And that does us for today guys, the argument for and against having female space marines and what I think on the issue. 
The Major Kill Minis are under production and coming out great. We ironed out the issues and there's still a couple left for sale. So if you guys want to send to become gods among mortals or just bigger neckbeards, then jump on the Major Kill website and buy yourself one. If you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be. Only $1 gives you access to a boatload of Warhammer Hentai and $10 gives you access to the premium Major Kill Hentai calendar. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the real subscribe button for more gender balanced content. Join the Discord for more memes, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.